What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about some updates. Samsung has rolled out some of our favorite Galaxy apps. Some good updates, some bad, but all of them have One UI 6.0 support at least partially now. So we'll talk about that in just a second, tell you guys what's going on. Before we get started, I want to thank my son Jonathan. We have the lion and the velociraptor hanging out. We always appreciate him because some dinosaurs and animals to hang out with us during our videos. I also want to remind you guys about my partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting just 15 bucks a month. So if you want to save some money on your wireless service, they are the perfect option to do so. Mint Mobile also has plans with data allotments for every need out there. They've got a five gig plan for 15 a month, 15 gig plan for 20 a month, a 20 gig plan for 25 a month, and the unlimited plan, if I could touch it there, for $30 a month. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. Incredibly simple to switch to Mint. You get an eSIM. They'll actually send you the SIM right away in your email. You can go ahead and activate it. The thing that's great about that is, you know, wherever you are, you can activate that SIM um, and you don't have to worry about it being shipped directly to your address if you need a SIM immediately. That's a great option to take advantage of. I noticed a lot of people have been taking advantage of eSIMs lately. Those of you in the community out there who write me in the comments, say that you've been switching over to eSIMs. A lot of the manufacturers are doing that. You can also get a physical SIM, go old school if you want to. Um, they send you out a SIM tool, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, let the savings begin. I've been using Mint now in the Phoenix, Arizona area for over a year. My family switched to them. Also use it when I travel, had great service. Uh, we really, really enjoyed it. If you guys wanna try them, switch today, go to trymintmobile.com slash Springer. Also in the pinned comment and description. Try it out, let me know how you guys like it. I know a lot of people have told me in the comments that they've switched over um, through my link, and I really appreciate when you guys give me some feedback. We love having Mint Mobile with a partner on the channel. Okay, so uh, let's talk about these updates. There's actually three, uh, and so I'm gonna go into the GoodLock app and kind of go through them. None of these updates are massive, and one of them I already kind of talked about. The first one was HomeUp. HomeUp rolled out an update with partial One UI 6.0 support. I talked about this in a previous video but they didn't include the one update that we were all looking for. Uh, the home up version here, scroll down, see it. November 1st, 15.0.00.7, 12.23 megs. Uh, it says partial One UI 6 support, you, but the features missing are apps list, home screen finder access, and task changer, um, stack, vertical list, and slim list. Those are some of my favorites. In fact, the vertical app list, which is how I get the vertical app drawer, I made a full video on that, you guys love that. That's missing from this version of home up. So that's obviously super frustrating. Also the task changer, I tend to use the stack one quite a lot. So that's also missing. Now you do have the folder title suggestions, folder grid, folder icon, uh, and uh, the task changer allow recent app gestures in the pay region. Those features have also been deleted from home up and those are not coming back. Um, so kind of not a great update in the sense that they didn't keep all the features from before in the One UI 6.0 support. Those are coming later. These three features will come in a future update. And then they also deleted some features down here, which are not actually going to come back at all. So kind of frustrating in the sense of the home up update. Obviously when they do roll out the update with the vertical app list, I'll make an update video about that because I can't wait for that. I hate having the horizontal. It's just so annoying to scroll through horizontally on here. It's, it's one of my least favorite things about Samsung's default uh, One UI menu. Um, the next one, Keys Cafe. So let's actually go into the store and check out this version number. Keys Cafe got an update as well. This one's also a small one, uh, not necessarily in size. It's 1.6.00.9, November 3rd, 40.87 megabytes, One UI 6.0 support. They applied the stabilization code, which means it now works perfectly, supposedly. Uh, create keyboards at low resolution. Editing keyboards has fixed problems that are difficult to edit because the keyboard size is too large. I've personally never had this issue um, because I don't really keep a super large keyboard, but if you like to keep the keys width really large, I guess there was an issue um, with things freezing and lagging a little bit. For those of you who don't know about Keys Cafe, I highly encourage you to install it. it lets you customize your keyboard layout. Um, you can see here, once you do One UI 6.0 update, you'll have to re-give access to storage again. You guys have seen the keyboards that I have with all the effects and everything like that. Um, that's how I do it using One UI 6.0. So they have some cool stuff in there. Um, there's a little dot, did you guys see the orange dot there that says that there's supposed to be something new in here, but I haven't been able to find it. So if you guys tell me what's new, I don't know if it's just some new defaults or something, maybe. I don't see any new key motion effects. You guys have seen the ones that I've used before, like right there, those are the ones that I have enabled. You can kind of see what they do when you preview them. Anyway, Keys Cafe is a lot of fun to play around with. No new super big features that I can find, but if anyone finds anything, 
certainly let me know uh, as you're going through. Uh, and then the last one is Registar. So this one was updated at the same time as Keys Cafe. And uh, this one is version 1.0.47, 14.06 megs. They applied One UI 6.0 stabilization, fixed app crash when entering customize your settings home, fixed live caption not working. Two bugs that I never really had an issue with. Uh, I can't say I use live caption a whole lot though, so that could be the reason for that. Um, for those of you who haven't used Registar, um, which is a great app, um, this app basically allows you to double tap the back of your phone and trigger various events um, when you do that. Once again, notice that you'll have to grant some new permissions uh, once you install Registar. So you see back tap action here, you can turn this on and then you can choose various things by doing a double tap. I like to have the uh, pop-up there to do that, but I also like to turn the sensitivity, you know, you can turn the sensitivity up, down, middle, whatever you want. That way you don't accidentally trigger it. You can play with it and see what's best for you. You can also customize your settings menu and your side key press. Uh, although I kind of like to leave the side key press to the regular power menu, but um, that's something you can also change here as well. So nothing hugely new and the home up update actually removes some stuff. So a little bit of a bummer, but we've seen so many new features um, in Wonderland and with the new edge lighting plus, and there's so many new features coming in good lock modules with the one UI 6.0 that I can't be too bummed. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the updates. Let me know if you've got them. Let me know if you've been playing around with them. If you guys want to save some money on your wireless service, check out my partners at Mint Mobile. Try mintmobile.com slash springer also in the pinned comment description. Uh, let me know how much you guys like them when you do give it a try. Always love the feedback from my subscribers. And uh, we love having Mint partners on the channel. Love having you guys watch the videos. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.